All right, back again. Now, as you remember, this had chrome rims. And I took the original rims that came with it and painted them black. I personally like it better with black rims. So, I'm going to keep them that way. I think it looks tough. So, oh, and the door handle is on the right way. So, that's my big thing I was going to do was change the rims on this because I was digging more black with uh, the orange. Kind of brings them out more, you know what I mean? So, if you guys like it, let me know. Leave some comments. Um, yeah, I'm going to just touch them up a little bit more. And they're going to have black rims on the Chevelle. And uh, we'll go from there. And then I think there's another um, vehicle that I'm going to make. Uh, black and chrome rims with because uh, the car is going to actually be black and orange it's going to be kind of the opposite of this just orange and black so I think I'm going to uh, do that one kind of opposite of this one so as you guys can see I still got the collection going a um, couple of them need some work done to them still um, more touch-ups to it as you can see I screwed up on the, the Ford and got glue on the friggin windshield really pissed about that so I gotta get another kit and put a different windshield in it no big deal but yeah you guys remember the, the good old Ford glue didn't glue the tires on yet cuz uh, still working on it and I got the tailgate coming but all in all, I, I really like how this one came out. I like the detail in it. Um, I was going to have neons on it. But uh, they broke on me. And then I got to put the intake on it and battery. But all in all, she's she's good to go. A little wire detail to it. All my vehicles are going to have wires. I just haven't had the time to do it. Um, got to still work on the 63. I had to do the wires on the hydraulics and the speakers and all that. I did put wires on the back of the amps. Um, but and then I got I finally got some parts for my engine I've been waiting for. So I'm gonna work on that a little bit more too. Um, 61 and Lincoln. I'm not gonna really do that much to it. Um, I kind of like it the way it is. That's why I haven't really messed with it. I just threw some wired rims on it. The Mustang, I'm kind of satisfied with. I'm just going to do some minor detail for the interior. I'm going to make carpet with uh, my stuff that my wife's getting me. And then, you know, 55 red. I'm satisfied with that. Um, I'm still not sure about the rims. I, I do like them on it, but... I may change them. I got some other rims coming. I might put some gold gold wires on it instead of chrome. And then I got the other 55 chopped orange interior with some uh, Dayton's on it. And then of course you know my 63 Lincoln. That's interior is all done. Got a minor little touch up. I lost a wire when we were moving. And then I gotta actually take it apart and push down on some material. But there is two speakers back there and two speakers back there. Of course, you can see inside the window the amps with the wires, suicide doors in the back, the engine detail. It's a little dusty, but you know it gets dusty here. And then my uh, Caprice. I'm pretty much done with it. I it, I just gotta finish up on the engine detail um, put the radiator battery and some couple wires but uh, all in all 
she's pretty much done. I gotta put the firewall in. And then I'm gonna glue it together so it's completely done. And then my uh, 96 Chevy Impala, I got some work I'm gonna do to it. I'm not gonna tell you what I'm gonna do, but we'll just have to look up. And then my other 63 Impala convertible, um, I'm gonna make Lamborghini doors on it. Engine's pretty good. I'm not gonna touch it. Uh, the trunk doesn't open on this one, but um, I kind of like the interior the way it is, so I might just leave it that way and just put some different rims on it because the rims that did come with it, they're just ghetto. Little cheap wire looks. I mean, all in all, they do look fine on it, so that's why they're still on it. But uh, I'm kind of running out of wired rims. These are going to go on the... Um, The wagon and then I got some other wired rims like those that um, are gonna go on the Nova wagon um, I might I don't know cuz I've ordered some gold ones too like that so I might put gold ones on the truck or they might be on the wagon more likely they're gonna go on the truck cuz I want those for the wagon I want the big 20s for the wagon I got another set of 20s too um, just don't know what I'm going to put them on yet. There's a couple other models I've been looking at to uh, um, purchase. But uh, I am going to buy another um, Caprice because I want to do it in the candy apple green. The, my original plan was the candy apple green. But uh, it didn't come out as well because I had that paint for so damn long. And I'm running the line like a little schoolgirl. And I got my Lamborghini. It's a. Uh, just black right now but I'm gonna do some work to it I think this is the one I'm gonna make orange and uh, black um, if you uh, suggest any colors or whatnot feel free I'm up for anything you know but like I said I buy die casts and I, I sand them down um, with a sandblaster and I make them my own so it is still modeling it's just working with metal and it's not the full detail you get when you uh you actually put it together with plastic so i'm kind of half and half you know i do die cast i do metal uh, plastic you know that's plastic die cast plastic die cast die cast and plastic die cast die cast die cast die cast plastic die cast plastic and uh plastic and this is die cast and plastic. I had this up. Uh, and then of course you know the, the paddy wagon. Everyone knows that's plastic. And then my motorcycle is plastic. The 59 Impala is plastic. And then I got two El Caminos. Um, I'm actually going to put one together. And uh, make it cool. Because I might use the one of the Dayton's for that. Or I might go old school with some 5 stars. I'm, I'm not sure yet but I'm going to make one as a lowrider and then I'm going to make try to make one as like a monster truck you know lifted I don't know I don't really get into that stuff but I should because you know, my wife's redneck she likes that stuff too just like I do but uh as a city boy you can see I like the lowriders it's what I grew up around muscle cars and lowriders so you know, I keep showing my collection, but you know, I got so many ideas I want to do with them. And uh, hope you guys enjoy. You know, I feel free to let me comments. I love to hear from you guys, get ideas from you guys. I love to watch your guys' videos and get videos and and see images from you guys. You know, it makes me uh makes me open my mind for shit. You know. So can't wait to see from you guys and hope you guys enjoy. But yeah, there's my Chevelle. Next step is uh, interior. I gotta figure out how to make a back seat and go from there. Alright, peace out.